everyone welcome back to our youtube channel and to yet another vlog so if it's your first time here my name is Lahia I'm from Namibia and I'm based in the UK so as promised I, I'm back today to plug you with some of the companies that are providing visa sponsorship for healthcare assistants, senior carers, nursing assistants even nursing jobs for, from outside the UK because I've been getting a lot of questions about companies that are providing this sponsorship or even recruitment agencies that can help with, uh, with, with, with recruitment. So, and also some people have been saying that they, most of the companies that, came, that they came across are only asking for people who are already in the UK but require sponsorship. They, they, are, they are not necessarily um, willing to, to pay for flights or or pay, yeah, pay for whatever relocation from somebody who is coming from outside the UK. So I've, I have a, a list of companies that I know have been recruiting from outside the UK. And so you guys should then take note and get onto the website and then um, get in touch with the, with the companies. So I'm gonna give you the names and I'll also try to link the websites that I can get hold of. I might not get be able to get all the links into the into the description box but if i give you the name then you should, you should be able to google that up and then find the website and get in touch with the company also i'll give you the companies that i know of that are recruiting plus also some of the recruitment agencies that i'm aware of that are that are offering um, recruitment for 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 these companies that are based in the uk so the company that I'm giving you now, I, I know that they have been recruiting from outside the UK. So the first company is HC1, which is HC-1. Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a healthcare company. It employs healthcare assistants, senior carers, and even registered nurses from outside the UK. They can provide sponsorship, visa sponsorship. They can pay for your flight, they can pay for your accommodation for a first few weeks or a month or two uh, while you are settling. And yeah, so they, I know they do recruit. So please do get in touch with them, whether, yeah, so please do get in touch with them and uh, uh, apply for, 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 for those jobs. The second um, company is Novostair, is another healthcare company in the UK that I know is providing business sponsorship. The third one is Agent Care, Agent Care UK, and the fourth one is Excel Care. Fifth company I know of is St. Elizabeth, and then the next one is KMark UK or KMark Recruitment. So those are the four that are offering um, visa sponsorship for, from outside the UK. And I know there are many, many other companies that are offering visa sponsorship. What you need to do is to go onto the UK government website and look for, for tier two visa sponsor companies. And they have a whole list of all the healthcare companies that are providing, providing visa sponsorship. And uh, in most cases, you don't necessarily have to wait until you see an advert from these companies. You can just go onto the, onto the company website and get their contact details. Email the HR or whoever the contact person is. Tell them that you, you, you are looking for a healthcare assistant job, you have a certificate in this and that, and they will be able to let you know whether they have a position or not. And they may not necessarily have a position at that time when you contact them. But then position will always come up here and there. So it's for you to make sure that you get in touch every now and then just to find out if something has come up. Right? So don't give up at all. When it comes to this to job hunting, don't give up at all. Make sure you get in touch with the companies regularly so that whenever there's something you don't get to miss it to, to, to miss it. Okay? Yeah, so and then there are recruitment agencies that are then um, recruiting for companies from outside the UK. So I also um, came across a few that I know um, that they are, they are, they are helping with the, with the recruitment for these companies. So the first recruitment agency is ADECO UK or ADECO Recruitment. 
they are recruiting for UK companies for visa sponsorship jobs. Michael Page UK, or also or, or Michael Page Recruitment, also Hayes Agency, the Frame Lily, MCK Recruitment, the Pearl Recruitment, Air Swift Agency, and Reed Specialist Recruitment. So these are some of the agencies. Yeah, and another one, another um, recruitment agency that I know is recruiting from all over the world is also um, MMA recruitment. MMA is actually owned by a South African um, lady who I think is a registered nurse and she has been based in the UK for over 10 years. Yeah, so MMA is one of the recruitment agencies that I know has been recruiting heavily from Namibia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, um, Nigeria, Philippines, and all over the world, really. They, they, and yeah, they, they, you can also get in touch with them. They also have a Facebook page, and it's MMA Recruitment. I'll try to put the link in the description below, and then you can just get in touch with them. Yeah, because... Uh, with MMA, they also have um, uh, assistance program, especially if they are like for nurses. If the, if you are looking for a nursing job, they can help you with the um, preparation for CBT exam, preparation for English. So they have they usually have materials on their on their Facebook page, so you can get on there and get really a lot of information, a lot of support and they will, they will give they will support you throughout the process really and so that there will be the 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 link between yourself and your prospective employer so please do get in touch with these companies do get in touch with these recruitment agencies and tell them your situations for for tell them what training you've had and this is the job you're looking for your qualifications make sure if you are looking for these jobs you have already done your english test because it takes time for you to to to, to do the english test and pass it and then um, get these jobs because if you reach out to a company and they have a job available that time and then you don't have the english test they may not necessarily be able to wait for you to book your english test with you which may not necessarily happen in a month or even two sometimes because um, the book in the spaces for the English test is not always readily available. Sometimes you may wait for, may have to wait for a month, and then after writing, you need to wait for a, a few weeks again, or so before you get the results. And the company may not be able to wait for you to do all that. So at least get the English test already out of the way before you start reaching out to these companies. And then that because that will that will then speed up everything and make everything easy for yourself and also for the company. So you need to do to do your part and make sure that you are ready in case they say we have a position available now please send us your cv please send us your english um, test please send us your your police clearance then you have everything ready then the, there shouldn't be any delay from your end if there is anything to, to, to delay it shouldn't be from your end because you are the one looking for a job have everything um, ready from your side then everything will, be, will, will run smoothly okay so i hope with these um companies that i gave you you guys will be able to find something really and um, please guys make use of the internet it's, these things are just at the tip of your hands or you have a phone with internet google google these companies and then reach out to them send them an email calling them may be expensive if you are calling from home to the uk it may be expensive but they're just an email away and usually they are very good at, at replying to to their emails so yeah i hope this will be very very helpful for you if not for yourself then for the next person that you feel yeah so please do forward this information to whoever you think may benefit from it and if you get, if you have any questions please do post that in the comment section and i will take it from there and I thank you. Thank you, guys. Guys, and once again, please, if you have not subscribed yet, please do do the, the, do the right thing and subscribe. And also, please do like the video. Do not pass without <laughs> liking the video. Just give us a thumbs up, please. And don't hesitate to share this um, with anybody that you think may benefit from it. And I thank you. And I'll see you in the next vlog.